Oh, never fear, my friends. We have not seen the last of these wings! Oh my gosh. They still just take me aback at how utterly beautiful they are, and I I'm still shocked. I'm not going to lie, even though I knew it was coming, because how could we not have amazing custom content by Kalino that is wings on our horses, transforming them into Pegasus or into alicorns because boy howdy i should never call a a uh, horse with a unicorn horn and wings a unicorn or a pegasus because did i ever disappoint my niece by saying that yes i don't know if she's ever been more disappointed in me than when i didn't know what an alicorn was and just called it a pegasus or a unicorn that will stick with me forever I unfortunately didn't have the wonderful opportunity she did to be raised on my little pony, so I learn something new every day. That's what we seek to do here in our Sims 4 Random Pets Laboratory Challenge, as we mix and match all sorts of different animal genes to see what kind of curious creatures we can create. And today, friends, we are returning to the alicorns. See? Caught myself. Didn't say Pegasus. We got the wings, but we also have the horn. Alicorn, not Pegasus. I'm gonna get it eventually. <laughs> But we are indeed returning to some more of Kalino's amazing custom content. She does have new wings as well that you guys can find over on her Patreon, where the wings actually are open or they're folded open so that your Sims can go ahead and still kind of like sit on them, but look like they're moving. I would not be surprised if people start creating, um, well, the wings don't move, but like if you pause and like take a picture, it looks like they're mid flight. So I would not be surprised if pretty soon we see some poses coming up that uh, go ahead and display that to even better effect. But for now, you know, that's for all those photographers out there. And we, we're here on the ground, friends. We're here putting on our boots, ready to muck out our laboratory stables and ready to go ahead and see what kind of beautiful creations we can create with our blue sky alicorn named Parrot, which is a great name suggestion, oh my goodness. And from our peacock Appaloosa Aspecial Manchester! Look at this! Look at all these spots and dots! I was so excited because I basically pulled up a whole bunch of the peacock Appaloosas that, oh my goodness, you amazing people over on the gallery have created. I'm so in love with it. I have been like searching through all of these for the hashtag Siri Horse. I, I just, I sat here for so long. I mean, look at the alien horses! <laughs> And there's Nebula the Galaxy Hearts. Oh my gosh, like I am going to go through and I want to like all of these. It's just, wow. Oh, I can't wait. I just absolutely, oh, there it is. <laughs> I cannot wait to come through here and keep them coming, you guys, because boy, am I going to need to like hurry up and like pick up the pace when it comes to going through and seeing, oh my, oh my gosh. I mean, they're amazing. They're amazing. And we're absolutely going to have to go through and we're going to have to mix and match more of your horse genes. So be sure to go ahead and if you do create your horse, of course, you can upload it to the gallery under the Siri horse hashtag. And um, then it, it, it may show up here in the laboratory stables. And to be fair, I usually use a random generator to pick if, yeah, I might pick a theme like I was looking for Peacock Appaloosas, but uh, that's just that's just how things go. I think that I'm gonna need your guys' help putting in some expansions to our Labarcatory Ranch because boy, howdy. I'm not saying I'm surprised at how popular they were because I shouldn't be, but I am so glad that you guys are enjoying our horses. So, all right, let's go ahead and give Manchester a little pat on the face, and then we are going to go ahead, and I hope you guys are ready to uh, um, <clears throat> massage out some of the, the bumps in our foals' spines as, oh, that's so cute! <laughs> as the camel body on foals is still for some reason dominating the genes, Maybe we need a little bit of cross-contamination control here in the laboratory, and I need to make sure the camel genes aren't getting in there until hump day at least. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and grab the Dice of Destiny, put on our safety goggles, put on those mucking boots, and I, I mean, what else would you need if to like prepare yourself for a laboratory day? Some snacks? And also water? Are you guys hydrating properly? Hey, take a sip of water. I've got water here right now. Ha! Ah. 
See? There! Now we are properly hydrated and let's do this! So my friends, the first little one that we are going to have, being one of you guys from the random comments generator from our previous videos, is actually going to be this little filly! Yes! We ended up with the spots! And this is actually going to be Lillian! Lillian! Oh my gosh, a galaxy horse and a zebra. See? See? I have to say a huge, huge thank you to, uh, see, I, I wish I could like have some of our, our students kind of stand up just now and, and I could clap for you and be like, extra credit, extra credit for you. I, I don't know what I would give you. I probably shouldn't give you candy in the laboratory, but I still feel like I want to be that cool teacher who has like the little prize bucket at the front that you can take when like you do something kind. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for those of you who have started making galaxy horses and rainbow horses and special like horses because that's going to help me out so much when it comes to actually being able to create some of these because like it's so cool to see what you guys think a galaxy horse looks like. Oh my gosh, we're going to be having so much fun with these. Uh, all right, but Lillian, you are going to be an aggressive, defiant, needy horse. With a little bit of a, there you go, no more no more backache. Uh, and I have to say, yeah, Galaxy Horse and Zebra sounds amazing. Also, your personality sounds like I it might need a... Do we have any advanced placement pixel biologists here? Because uh, that's, that's going to need a little bit of help. I mean, aggressive, defiant, and needy. Huh. But let's go ahead and read your genome, Lillian. And I'm sure that as you grow up, we're going to be able to work with you and kind of work out those kinks. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, you got one of the- Oh my gosh. <laughs> we actually ended up with the blue color from the the alicorn parrot first thing. That is so cool. But all right, so let's go ahead and carry on because Lillian, I'm sure as we start figuring out what your genes are going to be, you're going to have a total- Oh my gosh, you got the black. <gasps> you're going to have a completely fine time. And I'm positive that we're going to be able to find you some kind people who can go ahead and help train you as you grow up. And when you grow up, we'll see whether or not you inherited the horn or if you inherited the wings. You guys, look at this. This is so cool. So you may be wondering where the black gene comes from. And actually, our wonderful alicorn happens to go ahead and have all of the color ranges that clouds do. So we range from the light blues to the dark grays and even the blacks as well as some white. Uh, Parrot's got quite a few surprises up her sleeves and that means we have these kinds of cute little foals. <laughs> I am never gonna have enough foals. Have we had a hundred foals in our laboratory yet? Somebody please count. I will, I will give you all of the pixel biology points, I swear. All right, let's go ahead and pull up the next one of you guys to see what kind of adorable little creature we're going to be creating. And now, we, oh, I gotta also see what the Dice of Destiny says. It's gonna be another little girl. And we are gonna be randomizing one, two. Oh, we have a totally different pattern on this one. Again, let's go ahead and give her a little massage. <laughs> <laughs> to work out those kinks in the back. And we're actually going to have Apple Tree. What a cute name. Apple Tree, you're going to be brave, aggressive, and mellow. Again, I, I'm always amazed. Horses are complicated creatures that can have personalities that personally I might think would conflict with one another, but here we are. Uh, and let's go ahead and see what uh, our little genome dice says that you actually have for your colorations. You actually inherited white, like, first one. That's really funny. Oh my gosh. And you inherited white for the second one? <laughs> Oh, that was really funny. Okay, uh, but you actually ended up, let's see, with this brown color. Wow. Oh, that's really fun to see. And then you ended up with, oh, ooh, yes, this blue. Oh my gosh, and your face has that blue. That is so cool. And then you actually have this, this gray. Oh, apple tree, look at you. I really love this mix because it's like we're bringing a stormy alicorn blend to the like peacock appaloosa that Manchester has for us. This is so much fun. Oh, every time I'm in like the, the lab, I'm immediately like, why are we not doing this all day long? It's the best, especially because it's so much fun. You guys, seriously, I love seeing your creativity. I love going ahead and being able to see all of you get a chance to be our lab assistants and whatever very confused poor little creatures we have sometimes. Yes! 
All right, so this is going to be our next little filly. And the next name is actually going to be Bobby. Oh, Holly Cat. There we go. Holly Cat, you, uh, your little Bobby is going to be a fearful, energetic, and intelligent little one. What is the... Oh my gosh, that's really cute. Oh, <laughs> it makes me want to see what it looks like with donkey ears. Oh, that was precious. Okay. And Mudsdale and an Irish cob. I need to start keeping all of the Pokemon requests in a very specific spot because I would love to do that. Uh, and I just have been, I just have been like amazed at the creativity that you guys have. <gasps> Two different colored eyes. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that, Bobby. Oh my gosh. All right, Holly Cat. Let's go ahead and see what little Bobby is going to have gene wise. So the first gene is actually going to be white, which is really pretty. I'm not going to lie. And then the next gene, oh, ooh, ooh, the dark blue. Oh, wow, that's actually really pale there. White for the next one. And then the last one is going to be actually this exact color. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I love how you have one brown eye and you've got one blue eye. Oh, that's so cute. It looks like you're trying to have a little donkey tail too, but we'll see what you end up growing up with when uh, when the time comes. All right, let's pull up another one of you from our random comments generator. And again, like, seriously, thank you, you guys, for, like, leaving those comments because I quite seriously really can't tell you how much it fulfills me and how much it adds to my life to be able to see your guys creativity and curiosity and just excitement that means a lot to me it really does it makes uh each and every day just feel a little bit more like the space i'm in is feel filled with with your happiness and that means a lot so oh sappy siri oh maybe it's all of these beautiful stormy horses all right now we're gonna have sunshine from summer kitty sunshine i'm so glad that you're enjoying more of our adventures you are going to be a free spirit who's a bit fearful and quite friendly also i love the split coloration in the mane there that is so pretty and let's see what colors the genomes play out for you okay you actually have white for your first one and then you're gonna have this brown color for your next one followed by let's see let me double check that one so you're actually gonna have white for the next one ironically and then you're going to have ooh, you're actually gonna have this great whoa that's so cool oh my gosh and then you have black for your last one <gasps> sunshine oh and you have two colored eyes as well Oh my gosh, sunshine. Oh, you look so awesome. <laughs> Why are we not doing this all of the time? Maybe I need to have a challenge to see like what it would take to get the next 100th whatever of the Labarkatory. Uh, all right, and then let's come over here and we're going to go ahead and one, two, three, four. Here's our little full. I noticed that there was a lot going on with the face changing quite a bit there. So I wonder if I wasn't really paying attention, but I think that Parrot and Manchester have very, very different, um, do you, would you call it a muzzle on a horse? A bit goes in the mouth and that's, that's not fun, not good. Uh, I, I think I need to get a little diagram of like horse parts, the way I have a diagram of bird parts. And I think, <gasps> You know that you are a curious pixobiologist when you start doing little happy, excited mental backflips at the idea of giving yourself little trivia homework. I'm telling you, you guys, if you want to stay young at heart, uh, basically your entire life, then stay curious, and that's the way to do it. And also, be kind. Follow rule number one. Be kind. And be kind to yourself, and allow yourself an environment where, you know, it, people who you keep near you are kind too. Oh, Natalie, I love the name Emerald, and I love the idea of potentially playing Emerald Valley again. It just needs to go on the list, because there's some surprises coming up this weekend, or this later this week, actually, like on Thursday, uh, for some surprising new series that all of you are going to be seeing. And it's just, it's just got quite a bit going on right now. But I will definitely add to my memory that you really, really love the Emerald Valley Adventures too, because that's important to me. Also, you have a little bit of blue right over here. 
Oh my gosh, the blue is on your little butt. That's so cute. And then we're gonna have the third brown here. Oh my gosh. I love how they're really ending up with two different colored eyes. Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh, 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 we're on the last one already? All right, clearly, friends, we need to go ahead and we need to have some more crossbreeds because uh, we, need to, we need to do some sort of special challenge in the lab. Maybe if I come up with an idea of what that looks like, I'll go ahead and make a little community post or short or something, sharing it with all of you. Uh, all right, one more. And here's the last one. Let's go ahead and give him a little massage to work out the kinks. But now I would like to welcome Jody. Jody, you are an aggressive, independent, and energetic horse. Boy, you are ready to be like left to your own devices. Thank you. I love how you have a blue mane. I wonder if you're gonna keep that when you grow up. Hey, speaking of blue, you just inherited this blue coloration too. Followed by, actually, this brown color. Whoops, come back here, dice. And then we've got, let's see. Ooh, and actually, this brown color, too. Wow! Uh, followed by, let's see, let me just make sure I get this right. Ooh, actually, you have, like, this gray as well. <laughs> see? And then white for the last color. I would have never predicted that! <gasps> That's so much fun! You guys, look at these mixes. Oh my gosh, Sunshine, Bobby, Apple Tree, Lillian. Oh, this is so fun. I love how Lillian was the only one who got the light blue jean. Oh, but all right, thank you very much, Manchester. Those were some amazing jeans that you offered us. And Parrot, fantastic job. Now let's go ahead and see if these little ones are going to grow up and if they are going to inherit the unicorn horn and the hooves based off of the Dice of Destiny. Uh, and Lillian, it turns out that you are going to be inheriting neither, says the Dice of Destiny. I know you really wanted to. I can see that right there, my dear. Uh, but it turns out that you're just, you're just the beautiful you that you are. Oh my gosh, I love the forelock custom content that we've got because it's just turning out so fun. And look at that super long tail. Oh, you're beautiful, Lillian. All right, Apple Tree, you're up next. Let's see. Woo, Apple Tree, you have that really fun forelock as well. And good news! You did actually end up inheriting. <laughs> no, 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 the wings. The wings, Apple Tree. Not that. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, and you did end up inheriting the horn. I wonder if I randomize, what's the first unicorn horn? So that variety? Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, how do I get the... Okay, there. Okay. All right. Um, Where are the tiny horns? How can I... Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> I am, I don't think that's supposed to happen, but you have developed your own branches, Apple Tree, and you refuse to take them off. You know, that's actually kind of awesome. <laughs> I didn't know I needed this blend, but apparently we need to go ahead and get ourselves an alicorn and a deer, because that's really pretty. Oh my gosh. All right, Bobby, are you going to be stubborn and uh, keep things that I wasn't expecting you to? Uh, you did not inherit the horn, Bobby, but it turns out that you did indeed inherit the wings! Whoa! You're trying to have, like, red wings! Here, let me try to get you a color that's a little closer to your other colors, but I'll go for maybe as red as possible without it not quite matching. How about this one? There you go, Bobby. So you, too, can take to the skies. Oh, beautiful. And then we have little sunshine. Let's go ahead and see what you have. Oh, what a beautiful color. I love how we have blue on the mane and white on the forelock. That's so exciting. And sunshine, you did actually inherit both the horn and the wings. Let me go ahead and let's see if this happens again. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure how that would play out. Uh, sunshine, you do have some blue. So I'll give you the dark blue on the horn. And then let's see what kind of, ooh, you wanna have the dark black wings, do you? Well, you know what, we can go for that. Let me take all of that off, there we go. All right, you can have the black wings, I'll give you that. Oh my gosh, Sunshine, beautiful. I think it's kind of ironic that she's named Sunshine, being a storm, storm alicorn after all, but I think that that actually might be like a reference to potentially like after the rain comes the sun, is what I'm saying. Also, Emerald, you would have beautiful wings, my dear, but you did not inherit them. However, you did inherit the horn. Let me see if we're going to have more horn chaos. Okay. 
The answer is yes. We have more horn chaos. <laughs> I love that. You know what? I'm just going to leave it. It's just glitching on and like not coming off. We're going to roll with it. We're just going to roll with it. Why not? And Jody, you're the last one up. Are you going to give us a little delightful surprise too? Actually, Jody, uh, well, you know, your holes don't really match any of the colors. So I'm going to go ahead and help you out with that. Maybe. Da -da -da. That's better. Uh, but Jody, you did not inherit the wings or the horns. So you are simply beautiful. Where'd your tail go? <laughs> oh, always surprises. Always surprises. That's why the Random Pets Laboratory is so much fun. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful adventure. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, be kind, stay curious, and if you too would like to become one of these chaotic creatures, then you guys know what to do. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Like, seriously, Apple Tree. That was really funny. Those look awesome.